next parameter we have under the coenzyme that analysis is what we call the pantothenic acid. Pantothenic acid. It is also a B vitamin and it is known as vitamin B5. Vitamin B5. Vitamin B5 is one of the most important vitamins that the body needs. Okay? And it is called pantothenic acid. So vitamin B5 is also known as pantothenic acid. Right? And it is a water soluble vitamin. It is a water soluble vitamin. The word pantothen, pantothen, is a Greek word that means from everywhere. From everywhere. What are they trying to communicate? They are trying to tell us that even though we have said that all B vitamins are required in small quantities and they are not stored in the body and need to be obtained from the daily food we eat, the advantage of pantothenic acid is that you can easily obtain it from almost every food we eat. Pantothen means from everywhere. So most of the food that we eat, by God's blessings, we will always find uh, vitamin B5 inside. We will always find pantothenic acid inside. So it's a rare thing to be deficient of, of uh, pantothenic acid or what we call vitamin B5. Alright? And um, being that it's a water soluble uh, vitamin, the excess of it, we have an excess of it, and this applies to all other water soluble vitamins. The excess of it goes away from the uh, goes away from the body through our urine, through our urine. So we must ensure that our filtration organ, our kidneys' main function is to filter. All right. So we must ensure that our kidney is working well, so that it's able to take away excess of all these um, um, vitamins and coenzymes away from our body. All right. Another thing I want you to take note of about um, pantothenic acid, just like every other um, B vitamin, is that it converts carbohydrates. It converts carbohydrates into fuel, into energy for the body to use. All right, pantothenic acid converts the carbohydrate food that we eat into energy, so that we can utilize it for our daily activities. And I think that pantothenic acid is also known for is that it is helpful for the nervous system, very effective for the functioning of the nervous system. It is also required for the healthy growth, for the healthy function of our skin, our head, our eyes, and the liver. It is required for the proper function of our skin, hair, eyes, and liver. Alright, and I also want you to take note of about uh, pantothenic acid is it is one of the contents that is used. It is used in making melatonin. Melatonin is a sleep hormone, a hormone that helps us to sleep. Alright, when you are deficient of the melatonin, you will have sleeping disorder. You will have sleeping disorder, and we know how important it is for us to get enough rest okay um, melatonin gets the body to a state of rest where it gives chance for repair if there is any damage in any tissue in any organ in any cell all right the body needs to be in a deep state of rest and melatonin we need melatonin is the hormone that suggests the body to such state so that rejuvenation, repair can, can carry out its, uh, its activity. All right. So we are saying in essence that pantothenic acid is used in the chemical reaction that makes melatonin. Okay. Another thing I also want us to take note of is that melatonin is also used to make cortisol. It also used it it's also used to make cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that helps the body to do to use protein 
to use sugar, protein, and fats, as in they help the body to use sugar, protein, and fats. Another thing that the cortisol is known for is that it is called a stress response hormone. It is produced at the adrenal gland. The adrenal, adrenal gland is located at the, at the tip of our kidneys, both left and right kidney. You see like a cap there. That cap you see there is um, the adrenal gland, all right? And that is where cortisol is made. And we said it is, it is used to do what? It helps the body to use the sugar that is produced, the food, uh, the, the sugar, the protein, and the fat that is obtained from the food that we eat. And it is, it also helps in what we call flight and fight hormone. That's what we call stress response hormone. All right. When there is an emergency, maybe you hear a gunshot, what? Or people are running for their life, and you discover that adrenaline is um, is released to help you to either defend yourself or run for your life. Uh, it is cortisol that ensures mm -hmm. that. And the making of cortisol. Uh, pantogenic acid is one of the major ingredients that is used in making cortisol. Alright, so um, the last thing I'm going to say that uh, pantogenic acid is useful is in the making of red blood cells. Red blood cells, alright? The red blood cells are used to carry oxygen, nutrients all over the body, okay? So, if there is a um, shortage of supply of red blood cells, the, person, the patient may suffer from anemia and so on. So, pantothenic acid is used in the making of red blood cells. Now, I want us to look at the result analysis where I'm going to be showing you what is supposed to be the normal range, and then we're also going to look at symptoms that an abnormal result is going to give us. Then I'm also going to mention a few sources where we can get pantothenic acid from the foods that we eat. So we have pantothenic acid here, and the normal range is from 1.116 to 2.101. 1.116 to 2.101. All right. Now let me mention a few sources where we can source pantothenic acid, or called vitamin B5, from. We can get it from broccoli, we can get it from um, sweet potatoes, we can get it from whole grain cereals like rice and so on, we can get it from mushrooms, we can get it from nuts, we can get it from beans, we can get it from lentils, we can get it from poultry foods, we can get it from eggs and so on. In fact, it is everywhere, like the name says, it is from everywhere. Most of the foods that we eat, we can get pantothenic acid, we can derive pantothenic acid from it. Okay, now looking at the result analysis, if it is a moderately abnormal high, severely abnormal high, I want you to take note of something I said earlier on. And this applies to every other one I have mentioned. It implies that the ones that are all these um, um, big vitamins that are water soluble, it is rare to have them on moderately abnormal high or severely abnormal high except maybe the kidney is not functioning well because when you have them in excess uh, dosage because it is water soluble they will go away through the urine except maybe you have a condition where the body is not um, filtering uh, excess of this stuff away from the body so if um, it is a moderately abnormal high it is generally not a concern okay because we know that if it is high it will soon go away through our urine. But if it is a moderately abnormal low, which is also rare because we said that almost every food that we eat, you can always derive um, uh, pantothenic acid from it. So for the exceptional cases, in case you find um, deficiency on account of maybe a degenerative disease, if it is a moderately abnormal low or severely abnormal low, the person may experience things like headache, fatigue, irritability, let me take for example fatigue, alright, because we have said earlier on that um, pantothenic acid is used to build red blood cells. So someone who is suffering from uh, anemia, 
may be in, on account of insufficient production of red blood cells. So it's going to be tasking the heart the more in order to obtain oxygen. And so some people will get easily fatigued. Okay. So um, that's that about that. And um, monitor normal low results can also bring uh, symptoms like irritability, impaired muscle coordination, gastrointestinal problem, and so on. All right. So that's what we have under pantothenic acid.